Scott Naylor started building motorhomes in 2006, and since then his company Vantage has won many awards in 2010, 2011, 12, and then this year they've won the Practical Motorhome Manufacturer of the Year Award. They must be doing something really well, and I'm going to see if I can find out what it is. Now, with this kind of small van conversion, the designers and the manufacturers have to be really clever and really think, if you like, outside the box to try and make the most of the available space. And Vantage have really done this to great effect. For example, the sleeping area is down there in the U-shaped lounge, but up here you can quite happily sit while the beds are still made up and have breakfast or an evening drink. It's very nice and you can also use this space when it comes time to do a spot of cookery. We've got a really nice stove here, all the features that we require in a motorhome and there's additional preparation space right there. So they really are making the most of every available square inch. Now look, here's something that I have not seen before. Maybe it's because I don't get out enough, but that is absolutely brilliant. It is so convenient, it's so useful. You could use it to plug in a microwave oven perhaps, or an electric toaster, or a coffee machine, or anything that runs on 230 volts. And when you don't need them, there it goes. Fantastic. On this side of the van, well, here we've got a really good sized fridge, 90 litres, and above it, a nice wardrobe with an excellent mirror. And again, they haven't just slapped a mirror in, they've shaped it. It looks nice, it gives you a really good feeling. As for the bathroom, the bathroom's really plain, it's really simple, it's all white, and it's all right. And along here, look at this chamfered finish to the door, and this finish as well is carried on with the lockers that surround us here in the sleeping and the living area, the U-shaped lounge. I open the locker, look at that. Is that wonderful? Yes, it is. It's really just the mark of someone, a manufacturer who's thought carefully about what they're doing. Little ledge here to stop things moving in and out. And in fact, this locker carries through to this locker. So you can put long things in there. <laughs> right, so here we are in the U-shaped lounge. You might think it would be difficult to think up a new way of creating a bed in a little space like this, but Vantage have managed to do it. Watch this. That pulls out there. This pulls over just there. That goes in there. And this cushion drops in there. And there you have a six foot two double bed built in, what, 30 seconds maybe? That's really good, but what if you want single beds? Well, they've thought about that as well. That goes back there, that goes back there. That goes in there. This cushion goes here. And this one goes there. And there, once you've moved these, you have two single beds. An excellent design. As well as being the place where you sleep, this is also the place where you sit and enjoy the whole motorhoming experience. It's really comfortable, it's really relaxing. I used to be a bit of a fixed bed fanatic, but you know, I'm rapidly changing my mind about this. We've got a nice television here, it's a good quality television, and look, there's a little shelf, especially for the remote control. It's got dead keen that you don't lose things in this van. Below the television is a radio, and this type of television can deliver the sound through the radio to the speakers up above me here, so you get excellent sound as well as a superb picture. Well, designers of motorhomes like this, they, they can't afford to stop innovating and thinking of new ideas, and they probably think up new ideas in their sleep. And here's an interesting one. How often have you lost your phone in your caravan or your motorhome? Well, if you're like me, loads of times, but you won't in this Vantage because, look at this, he's got a little pocket, especially for the phone, that he's going to put up there above this pocket where you keep 
your e-reader, which again is something that is so easy to lose. Right now, so that's what's going on inside the van. Let's have a look outside. Right here at the back of the vehicle. Look at this. This is a really nice bit of insulation, thick insulation, which ensures that when you're sleeping at the back here, even in the depths of winter, if you go down to the Alps or even in this country, you're not going to get a chill on your head. OK, as far as storage is concerned, plenty of it under there. And it's also accessible from inside the vehicle. Here's the gas locker, room for two small cylinders. Or if you prefer, you can get an underslung cylinder, refillable from outside the van, of course. But there's one feature about Vantage motorhomes that Scott Nail is really keen to emphasise, and we can take a look at that if we go round to the front. All Vantage motorhomes are based on Fiat Ducato chassis, and this one, the Sol, is a long wheelbase model. And look, here's the thing that Scott is keen to point out to his customers. This vehicle has got this label here, this is a VIN Stage 2 label. Every vehicle has to have a VIN label. And here's the one that comes with the vehicle from Fiat. This one is particular to Vantage Motorhomes and to this vehicle. And it proves that the vehicle has whole European type approval. This means that it conforms to all the latest European legislation and there's no problems when it comes to taking it for its MOT. Some other vehicle converters don't have this VIN2 label. And if they don't, then it's not necessarily a problem now, but it could be a little way down the road. And that's something really worth thinking about when you're looking to buy a new motorhome. So in just seven years, Vantage has become the largest two-berth panel van converter in the UK. And with prices starting at just around £40,000, it's really not difficult to see why. <laughs>